Okay, we're going to talk about uh, government intervention into the marketplace. Uh, the government sometimes intervenes and sets some price controls, and that can come in the form of either a price floor or a price ceiling. So let's say that we have supply for a particular good, and we have the demand curve for a particular good. Now, if left alone, the market will produce an equilibrium price. That equilibrium price will label price one, and that will also produce an equilibrium quantity. At this point, the market is said to be at equilibrium because the quantity demanded by consumers at this price is exactly equal to the quantity supplied by producers at this price level. So, of course, there is neither a shortage of goods or a surplus of goods, hence the term equilibrium. Now, sometimes the government will make the decision that the market prevailing price, here P1, is unfairly high to consumers. So, in an effort to protect consumers, the government will create what's called a price ceiling. When the government creates a price ceiling, what the government is doing is setting the price level below what would be the equilibrium price level. So how that would look is a price something like this, price two. At this price, what do we see? We see that the quantity supplied is less than the quantity demanded at this particular price level. Now, although consumers benefit because they get to purchase a good at a lower price, actually uh, some consumers will uh, be hurt by this price ceiling because there will in fact be what's known as a shortage of the good because the quantity demanded at this now lower price will exceed the quantity supplied by producers at that lower price because producers can't sell it uh, for as much revenue so they're unwilling to produce as many units as they were previously whereas consumers not only want to purchase the same amount that they were purchasing at the equilibrium price but in fact now they would like to purchase more because the new price ceiling has set a lower price making the good more attractive. The second way that the government may want to intervene is when the government concludes that the equilibrium price is unfairly low for producers of a particular good. In this case, the government sets what's known as a price floor. A price floor is a price that is established above the market equilibrium price. When that occurs, we see that the quantity demanded will be less than the quantity supply of a particular good at that price level. Now, when the quantity supplied exceeds the quantity demanded, rather than a shortage that prevails with a price ceiling, what occurs in the marketplace is a surplus. In other words, producers have decided to create more of this particular product because it's commanding a higher price now. It's a government forced price but still a higher price and it increases the revenues. So they make more of the product than they would have if the equilibrium price would have prevailed. In addition, consumers decide that now this particular good is uh, more expensive, so they decide to purchase less of it. So the quantity demanded goes down as a result of the government forced higher price. So this distance between the quantity supplied and the quantity demanded will be the surplus. This is the extra product that is being produced by producers and is going unsold at the government price that is the price floor.